girl. Why'd you have to leave me that way? I love you to this day. And it hurts to think of the words you used to say. Girl, why'd you have to leave me so long? I never did you wrong. And it hurts to think of the words to this song. <laughs> Choke no joke, I'm in the building. Y'all already know. It's choke no joke after dark, baby. All right? Make sure y'all get that hip-hop nucleus right here. Tubi, Apple TV, Amazon Prime. The hip-hop nucleus, the documentary on the legendary Tunnel Nightclub of New York City. If you love real hip-hop, if you love the golden age, if you love Jay-Z, Nas, Dre, Snoop, Mystical, Method Man, Red Man, Little Kim, Eve, Foxy Brown, on and on and on and on and on. That all the locks, all right? Bad Boy, Rough Riders, Murder Inc. This is all that, all that there, all right? And the goddamn hip hop nucleus out on Tubi, Apple TV. Amazon Prime, go get that. Support your boy, Choke No Joke. You already know, man. I'm in the building. And uh, if you ain't get a chance to see it, let me give you a little preview, all right? This is, how many of y'all been in the tunnel? How many of y'all remember the dance floor at the tunnel? Let's give them a little flashback, all right? This is the dance floor at the tunnel. This is how I used to go down. Let's go. The dance floor was crazy, man. Massive ass fucking space, you know, and it would just be filled with just people vibing and, and being controlled by the music. When the tunnel first opened, it was a train station. So you had two sidewalks and you had an area that was actually recessed downward. Peter took wood and built right over that recessed area. So every time you stepped on the dance floor, it had a little play to it. It would bounce, it would go up and down. So anytime the DJ was spinning music, especially if it had a strong bass, you would feel it in the floor. The floor literally moved. I thought the floor was moving up and down like this one point. It was so crazy one night. It was one of the biggest dance floors I've ever seen. The dance floor is always rocking. It looked like a video all the time. All you saw was a sea of people moving, going like this. And the deeper you went, pause back up in there, the more gutter it got. A lot of security used to be scared to walk on that dance floor. The dance floor in the tunnel was a war zone. The night we had Nori and Cameron, they surrounded my niece and robbed her. Well, her jury. Niggas was back there fucking. Niggas is back there selling weed. Niggas is back there gang banging. One of the biggest battlefields ever. Because a nigga might just be dancing on the dance floor with a nigga bitching and a nigga don't even know it, you might just turn around and your whole back is slit. For me, the dance floor was a spot where I would go and film a lot. Walk through the crowd, which when I think about it now, it was kind of ballsy of me, thinking about all the gangsters and thugs and gang bangers and everything that was in the crowd, me just running up on dudes with the camera, with the bright light in their face. I'm surprised nobody ever tried to crack my head back then. So as you came into the dance floor, and the music started pumping, it'll just go around and like almost like a skating ring kind of a circle. You throw on something like MOP, Andy up, guarantee somebody get robbed. <laughs> a banger come on, you, you just you just know to hit the wall and just watch how the club starts moving and how the club starts shifting. When you know it starts shifting and then you, people can't control their balance, you know niggas is getting robbed and you watch the robbers. Nine out of 10 times we knew who was gonna rob. You feel me? Because you can just sit back and watch them. They come in with their click, we know them. We bang into them every week. We watch them. After we watch them, we go home smiling. You may not catch the fight, but you'll know about that there's the fight by the, the crowd moving, that whole wave of crowd. We're not talking about, oh, it's 10 or 15 people moving. We're talking about like 250 people moving at once. Watching Alpha and Bolo, because when they spot something in the crowd, they diving in and we going right to it. I used to stand on top of a speaker and just play the wall. Sit, jump off, you run to it. Some of y'all used to run from it. I'm standing like on a step or so, just looking at the dance floor. 
and I see the crowd just moving like waves, like fish in the ocean. All of a sudden, one guy pops up, and it's him and his crew fighting in there. I'm like, yo, what are you doing, man? Just having fun. And he dives back in, and the crowd is doing this. A lot of the older dudes really just stayed up by the bar. All the young wild niggas stayed up by the damn floor. But I felt like that's where the newbies went. I would never go in there. When ain't nothing happened, you really seen a party. I like going all the way to the back, because in the back, you can kind of like, you know, a little more private in the back and the dance floor. You know, you might catch a girl booed up with your favorite rapper. Yeah, you see dance. bitches doing a dance from the, the Nino Brown shit. You're like, oh my gosh, this shit is real. You had certain cats that played the dance floor all night. They just came up for water and headed straight back there like it was a porn video. Because when the right song come on, you got motherfuckers, I mean, legs on the motherfucking shoulder. A lot of side action on the side and speakers and all that. You'll see a chick, she got a skirt up. You trip over a girl's feet because she on her knees. Yeah, I've seen people having sex on the dance floor. I saw my first homo thug couple make out on the dance floor. <laughs> Women in cages. We would just look from the sidelines and look at people just sweating and getting it in. You find in that tunnel some of the best dances. The video dancers, they came there to let loose. They came there to battle each other. A serious circle, meaning it was a certain people that would be dancing at that time with the mop tops, misfits. These are cool dancers that, that ran the whole club scene at that time. All around the side of the dance floor, you had all of the stick-up boys, the grimy niggas, niggas just came home. I used to run in there with the older guys from my hood. You know, on some, they was on some stick-up shit. I was a little homie at that time. Even though it was so much thuggery going on in the spot, you would see niggas was enjoying themselves, smiling and having a good time. Not many chicks frying like divas out west. Every chick's a model like Eva, and you know I'm far from believing her. So I'm g her like she g me. Banging in LA is a different thing. At the end, you either dead on the bang, getting out, doing better things. On sunset, where they hang, Hollywood, where they hustle for change. Times Square here is the same. No matter where you go, you'll find the lane. On the west, they kick it with cane. On the east, trees the souls you think. East coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rap, west coast, east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. West coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast If you rep East Coast When I'm on the West and I'm doing my thing Don't offer me coke, all your nose I bang Friends don't offer other deadly things Thanks for the hospitality, we'll still hang I won't judge you, leave me as I came On the road to success, top of the game Eat all the finer things in the food chain Teach my kids to do the same Where the East Coast West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rep, East Coast. Gotta love life and all for wonderful things. Being the travel is a privileged thing. Came back to the East, air wasn't fresh. Streets filled with trash, various people in the ass. It's easy to tell who's up a middle class. Police and racism, same as crash. Back to where they not social, where they less vocal. When they don't know you, be careful. Show you around the East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rap, East Coast, whether East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, pop your bottles and toss the cork. If you rep West Coast, both coasts are known to give you fame. Got Papa Rossi playing cameras your way. Got you bobbing and weaving like Cassius Clay. Most thugs turn Muslim in older days. Change their name to Allah, they pray. 
probably till they decay. This go out to the east and west for big and pop, y'all. Let's connect. Rather east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep west coast, brother, east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. You can't get the west without the es. So it's manifested that we connect. Uh. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track. Rest in peace, baby. Either one, we in now. You know what it is. Joe, no joke, welcome to the smile treatment, you know. Choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, no joke. Oh. <laughs> what it do, what it do. Fix my thumbnail. What's wrong with it? Joke, no joke, I'm in the building, you know what it is. Truth be told, all day, every day, even on a holiday, even on your anniversary. All right, first and foremost, we got to give a rest in peace, shout out to The Juice, O.J. Simpson. Um, O.J. Simpson passed away today. Um, I, I want to say he was six seventy six. I believe he was seventy six. Yeah. So rest in peace to the juice. OJ Simpson, what was his up? Uh, I forgot you said this. Uh, Orenthal James Simpson. He passed away from cancer. Um, it's been good to you know see him recently. Uh, communicating back and forth with Cameron and Mace. So, you know, we got to see him lately in his later years, be humorous and not be focused on uh, the Nicole Simpson thing. I seen a tweet from uh, Caitlyn Jenner 
aka Bruce Jenner. That say good riddance. So it's a lot of people that are happy. Oh, I didn't turn my Instagram on. Okay. Mm. Hold on, yeah. All right, I'm good now. So, there we go. All right, come in, come in, cheers, Jenna, come in. Choke No Joke Instagram, I am live on YouTube. YouTube, I am live on Instagram. <laughs> Twitter. Patreon, LinkedIn, you know what it is. Choke, no joke, we here now, all right? So, a lot of y'all been hitting me up lately. Big Winston in the building, you know what it is, what up? All right, um, a lot of y'all been hitting me up about this new, uh, episode of collect calls by suge knight right now kv what up um it's 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 been it's been a a very 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 explosive episode right so many people are talking about this. If you have not seen Simon Says, the Collect Calls episode, uh, episode 15, all right, and you've been following this whole Tupac, uh, Biggie uh, assassination for the last goddamn 30 years, and you've been wondering and you had a bunch of questions and stuff but now due to the fact that uh suge knight was a little more uh transparent you got the answers that you've been looking for now Shout out to everybody in the building. You know, I ain't giving my shout outs. Let me give a quick few shout outs. 
before I get into this. AC first in the building, you already know. All right. Jay Wu, what up? Connecticut in the building for Team of B. All right, Miss A. Matthews, I see you. All right. Yawn, I see you. Uh, Tay in the building, Tony Piper, Andy Clear, Rez in the building, Michelle Jensen in the building, Patric Patricia in the building, CJ in the building, Stacy in the building, Ed in Houston in the building, Kenyatta Carter in the building. All right. These are the usual suspects. All right. No new friends. <laughs> Crystal Hope in the building. Bigger BX in the building. KQ in the building. Yase in the building. Dipset Forever in the building. All right. Michelle Frizzy's here. Mike Miggity here. Darius, thanks for the donation. Shout out to the membership gang. The original Choke No Jokes is in here. One D Woman is in the building. My man Badlands is in the building. Payday is in the building. Mike Miggity. Who else? NY State of Mind. Jewel's in the building. Ross, that is. Walk on Wood. T. Beasy. Erica K. in the building. Booch Infinity is here. All right. All right, all right, that's enough for now. That's enough for now. I'll get back to those in a minute. All right. Cinnamon, membership gang, the original chokesters in here. No Limit uh, is in the building. Shafiq is in the building. Tri-State. All right. Tasha Dub, thanks for the donation, Tasha Dub. All right. You know what it is. Much love. Appreciate you. Show your thumbnail is hilarious. Y'all like my thumbnail? I'm glad y'all like it. So, now, Perry Jones just stepped in. Salute. All right. I saw the episode on Simon Says. All right, cool. All right. So, now, Being that uh, Gene was a big baby, you know what I'm saying, uh, and went out there and tell everybody that I was producing on uh, Suge Knight Collect Calls, now y'all know. All right, so he had to be the first one to put it out the bag. I wasn't looking for no clout. I wasn't, I didn't even tell Dave to put my name in the credits. But that last episode y'all saw, I produced that episode and the one before that, right? Along with them, uh, with, with Dave's people. But this last one definitely was mostly me, except for it was a little few things added in there. But I produced uh, that joint. Me and Suge produced that, right? So, um, as y'all can see, I'm a, I'm not out here clas chasing clout. I'm not. I ain't even put my name in the fucking credits. You know what I'm saying? But as y'all can see. This dude been out here lying and lying and lying and lying. Same thing like the big baby, a gene squeal. Crying and crying and crying and lying and lying and lying. Now, gene squeal, he don't went and came out here, pretended to be my friend, right? Had to go bust his nut off and get some extra views. Yeah, Choke over there working with Suge. Choke talking to Suge. Like, like being a big baby that he is crying. <laughs> Fucking big baby. Right? Um, so 
he let the cat out the bag. But like I said, uh, it's so much stuff that I do that nowadays I don't even say shit about because niggas be hating so much. You know what I'm saying? So I don't give them nothing to hate for. I just let the work speak for itself. And then after niggas already said, oh, it's hot, oh, it's dope, then I'll say, oh, all right, well, that was me. Before, then you can say, niggas say, oh, that she was whack. Oh, no, nah, oh, that was choke, and she was trash. You know what I'm saying? But how many people out here saying that's the best episode? Oh, okay. Go look at the comments, okay? Go look at the comments. So if uh if they could go and work with uh the racists and and uh, and Vlad and go and get on Vlad, what why why uh nigga can't come to the best that ever did it? <laughs> huh? Niggas can't fuck with me. We know this, right? Oh, okay. This is what you get. You know what I'm saying? The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the work. I ain't got nothing else to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to be out here bragging and lying and putting false truths on niggas. Now, let's get back to Gene Squill. Gene Squill, you f goddamn degenerate. Oh, you went in... Did your little dirt on me and, and talked about me and just lied, 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 lied. Well, let's talk about you, Mr. Squill. Mr. Squill, you goddamn degenerate gambling ass broke motherfucker. You out here fronting like you got money. You broke, nigga. I heard about you. See? Niggas talk. And now, niggas talk more than bitches. Well, you know that. You know that. Niggas out here talk more than bitches now. On the Art of Dialogue, Cam, Vlad, whatever it is. Just gossiping, 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 gossiping. But I came to find out, because one of your goddamn niggas, and you see, you turn on all your niggas, right? Just like you turned on me. I really thought you was my friend. You know what I'm saying? But like they said, I was stupid. Look what you're doing to Puff. Why would I think you would be my friend? But you out here fronting, buddy. You out here fronting. You Freddy Krueger, nigga. Candy man. You the nigga... Say so here on the other day, talking about, yeah, my house. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm in the lower level. But, you know, I got the other level in the other level in the other level. Nigga, you live in the basement, Freddy. Stop it, Freddy. You live in the basement. You live in the fucking basement, nigga. You got to share the kitchen, nigga. You get to share the kitchen. And you live in the fucking basement, Freddy. See? Niggas talk like bitches, nigga. Nay, nay. Gene Dale lives in the basement, y'all. Nay, nay is a, uh, a new member, y'all. Gene Dale live in the basement, y'all. Try to shit on niggas, y'all. Nay, nay, live, he live in the basement, y'all. He live in the basement, y'all. Nigga, that's why they call you the hunchback of the Notre Dame. You been living in the basement so long, you fuck. That's why you're back like this, nigga. Nigga, six five, living in a five five ceiling basement. And shit, the hunchback of Notre Dame, nigga. Nay, nay, in the house, y'all. Nay, nay, in the house, y'all. Nay, nay, is a member, y'all. Nay, nay, you man, we all. You broke ass nigga. That's why you out here lying. To, yo, I'm telling y'all. The way, if y'all know me, anybody that know me and know them lies he told me, 
he's lying about a gang of shit that he's telling about Puff, y'all. The nigga's lying. He is a vindictive fucking liar. A fucking narcissist. That's exactly what that nigga is. A fucking narcissist liar. God damn it. Get revenge on you because he get mad. Big fucking cry baby. Up on motherfucking uh, getting mad at me because I went to revoke. <laughs> you went around Puffy. You went to see Puffy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nigga live in the basement, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Nigga live in the basement, y'all. Take us upstairs, nigga. Take us upstairs. Go upstairs and say, take, take us upstairs. Yeah, prove to me. And, and go in there in the closets, take your phone and go through the, go upstairs with your phone and show us your shit upstairs, nigga. Nigga live in the basement, y'all. Big nigga in the basement. Big nigga, big nigga in the basement, y'all. Big nigga, big nigga in the basement, y'all. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Nigga talking all that shit. Oh, you know you could go up and look up your pension, right? Right on the website. You know me, investigative researcher. Yeah, nigga. Went there. You get 50 grand. 50 grand. You said, I'm pimping the mailbox. I'm pimping the mailbox. 50 grand? Up top, nigga? Living up top? No, nigga. Wait, what's that after taxes? What? About about 50? About 35? You pimping the mailman? Nigga, you struggling. Fuck out of here. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm back. So, so hey. Let me tell y'all something about uh, Mr. Lion Ass Motherfucker, right? All these stories that he's telling and everything, we already know when 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 the, when it was going on, when all the stuff was going on, how many police reports that he he put in? How many police reports he put in when anything happened to Misa, Kim Porter? Jennifer Lopez, uh, anybody, right? How many police reports he put in? None, right? Because he was getting paid, right? Okay. Well, right now, your man is broke. Your man is broke. Fronting like he, he owned that house. The nigga live in the basement. Tell that nigga, go live and go upstairs and open the closets and show his shit upstairs, nigga. 
That nigga's a fucking hoarder. Hoarder living in the fucking basement. Can you imagine being that fucking big and got to live in the basement? They got to be walking like this. T tell that nigga to show you the motherfucking, the kitchen down in the basement. No, nigga, you share the kitchen upstairs, nigga. You're a roommate. Fuck out of here. Talking about me. Talking about I live in an apartment. Yeah, nigga. By myself, I ain't sharing no goddamn kitchen, nigga. Yo, man, where y'all niggas going? Come on, man. Y'all niggas, man, I'm trying to make some grits. What the fuck, man? Y'all niggas got, you got to use all four burners. Come on, I'm trying to make some grits. <laughs> G, G, they live in the basement, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gene Dale live in the basement, y'all. <laughs> this nigga sitting out there fucking talking all that shit. Like he got all this fuck. He talking about, yo, where your jewelry? Where your jewelry? You better shut up about jewelry, nigga. You better get niggas. Don't embarrass your ass. I'll save the jewelry shit for later. In case you get disrespectful, I will save the jewelry shit for later. Oh, buddy. Oh, nigga. See, niggas talk like bitches just like you, buddy. Sitting up here telling all puff business and your fucking old niggas that you, this, this, you know why niggas do you dirty? You see how you did me dirty for some shit that I wasn't lying about? That's that's how niggas do you dirty, nigga. That's how niggas do you dirty, brother. Hold on one second. Joke, no joke. You already know. <laughs> Y'all know I love that cooch. You know who this is. I love that cooch. That's, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's the A thing. Clean cooch. Let's go. Yo, what's up? My nuts when I wake up. Got more than wood and I just bust one. And my hog and knee. I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets. And she want to ski. And just shout with me. With what I thought was pee. She rolled the D. Her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Korean and Medusa at one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie. Ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy, biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. I eat her coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. My nuts when I wake up, got more than wood and I just bust one in my hog and knee. I'm Ron Osley between the sheets and she want to ski and just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B, not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Korean and Medusa at one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. 
She sprayed my face like shook spray. I love that. Cooch. All right, I'm back. I'm back. So, oh, like I was saying. So this nigga keeps talking about he pimping the mailbox, right? Now, any of y'all could do this. And the, the simple fact that I still got a little bit of love for this nigga, I'm not going to pull his shit up on him. But he talking about he pimping the mailbox for 50K. There are people that are really pimping the mailbox that get pensions for a hundred and something thousand a year. This thing is like, he acting like he living in, in, in a, uh, well, he is living in the basement, so he is saving some money. I, I do, I give him that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, Your man's a degenerate gambler. That's what he is. The nigga's a degenerate. I'm telling you. Degenerate gambler. That's what it is. That's why he stayed broke. He broke. Nigga sitting here fronting. This is why he doing all the interviews and, and keep making up these outrageous stories. They got all the dialogue giving that nigga five bands an interview. And he don't care what the fuck he say when he come up there. As long as he fucking get, uh, that nigga getting the views. So he's up there lying on Puff, saying all this stuff that we sitting there saying, well, goddamn, nigga, you was complicit. You was aiding and embedding. You seen all that, this, that, and other. You telling all these stories, and he's spicing these stories up because he's broke. He's broke. Broke. Broke, broke, broke. I mean broke. I ask, ask any of his niggas that hang with him. Where do he live in the basement? Ask any of his niggas that hang with him. He always throwing cookouts in and cooking for niggas and shit, selling plates. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't know if he sell plates or not. I ain't going to sit up here and lie on a nigga like he did on me. But that's a good joke. Niggas selling plates. <laughs> this nigga, nigga jeans. <laughs> nigga jeans selling plates. <laughs> nigga be calling, calling up on your phone. Yo, yo, what's up, my nigga? Yo, you ate? You know, I'm selling plates. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to text you the menu and shit. I got fried fish. I got chicken with mashed potatoes, green beans. You know what I'm saying? And I got the special sweet tea lemonade. You know what I mean? My nigga. You know what I mean? I'm selling plates. <laughs> Yo, Gene, I could be a silence, so nigga. You can sell plates in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Get your little girl to open up the lemonade stand. You got the food truck right there, right, nigga? The food cart. You know what I mean? Because you know you can't put nothing too big. Live in the fucking uh in the basement. Nigga, go visit Gene. Hit his head right on the motherfucking the shit right there. Nigga, like yo, come in, Shaq. Nigga, Shaq. Bum. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Yo, watch your head. Nigga, it's too late, god damn it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, come in, y'all. Come in. Yo, come down. Come down. 
Yo, watch a bang. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. You got this whole house, man. You got to live in a fucking basement, nigga. Freddy Krueger, hoarding ass nigga. He's a hoarder. Sitting there talking all that shit like you got money and you got jewelry. I'm going to save your shit about your jewelry till later. Yo, your niggas be clowning you, my nigga. And you sat there talking about, oh, nigga, niggas is mad at you. Niggas going to get at you. And then, then, then. And talk about me and Stevie J. Stevie J got more money than you. Say you don't. Say Stevie J ain't got more money than you. You can put your whole pension in there. Say Stevie J ain't got more money than you. Nigga, tell the truth why you really lost your job, nigga. Tell the truth why you retired early. Because you's a fucking criminal with a badge, just like your brother. Wedgie Wong Jr. Y'all niggas are the same motherfucker. Dirty motherfuckers with a badge. Turn your head for fucking for money and, and sit there with a whole motherfucking responsibility to report what you supposed to see. And get both of y'all niggas on the internet right now because y'all fucking pension and disability checks ain't shit. So y'all telling on y'all niggas, whether it's Suge, Tupac, Snoop, whoever it is, Diddy, Mace, Biggie, y'all broke ass security niggas is sitting up here running y'all fucking mouths for a living. Suge still taking care of Reggie up here telling Suge Knight stories, Tupac stories, making a living off his fucking his life plagiarizing and this nigga cry baby gene god damn it somebody get that nigga pacifier big ass baby okay okay get that nigga pacifier big boy they should make a movie about you go big boy like baby boy big boy living in the basement big how the fuck you live in the basement freddy your new name is Freddy Krueger. Niggas will burn your ass out that basement. <laughs> Candy man. Why two Uncle G's coming for you? Three, four. Lock the basement door. Five, six. Talk about daddy's dick. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. This nigga here. Sat up there and talk all that shit. That's what you get, motherfucker, for doing niggas dirty. You fucking basement selling motherfucker. Sat there talking all that shit. Oh, nigga, niggas like, oh, I, I, I you know, I ain't gonna go hard because I, I still got a little love for Gene, but I gotta tap back at his jokes. But nigga, when I tell you when niggas don't like you, you got to be careful. Because that nigga came, he just said, talked about my mama. That nigga talked about my mama. You know what I'm saying? He talked about my mama, boy. My mama. I can't believe he talked about my mama. I thought that nigga was my dude. I, I ain't going to even talk about his family. I'm not going to do that. I cannot stoop that low. Don't mean I don't know a bunch of shit, but I, I would never stoop that low. But, you know, he can stoop that low because he's used to being in the basement level of shit. You know what I'm saying? I hope that I hope we have a real fucking strong winter this year, nigga. You get fucking 
snow and snow and all that shit melt and you get flooded in the basement, nigga. I hope you can swim, nigga. With them bad knees. Why you got bad knees from begging, begging Diddy? You a funny nigga. You out here pumping Big Willie. Living in a fucking basement broke. Ain't that a bitch? You fucking de degenerate gambling ass nigga. That nigga know. Now, how many of y'all niggas know Gene and know that, that that nigga won that lotto for a fucking uh, a couple of hundred thousand, like 200,000, and he blew that shit in days? How many they now? Three of y'all niggas done told me that. Three of y'all niggas told me that. Nigga, you a degenerate gambling ass nigga. That's why you ain't got no fucking money, nigga. Living in the fucking basement, talking shit about people. Freddy Krueger. Basement boy. <laughs> nigga, 61 years old, living in the fucking basement. That shit, and, and fucking 6'10". Can you imagine being 6'10", living, I'm exaggerating this height, you know I don't lie, but I got the, I got jokes. Can you imagine a nigga living, a nigga 6'10", living in a five foot, five foot basement? I know that nigga neck and, and back be killing that nigga. I still love you though, Gene, you fucking disloyal, you ass. Suck ass nigga. See the difference between truth and lies? You know what I mean? You got 24 hours to, 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 to go upstairs live and show your clothes in the closets upstairs. <laughs> 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 nigga, you share in the kitchen, nigga. It makes sense now. When I was talking to you on the phone, you talking about, yo, hurry up, man. I'm trying to make some grits. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to buy you a little hot plate for, for Christmas to put in the basement, all right? That's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to buy your ass a hot plate. And you right for the basement. You can't, you know, it ain't no oven. You can't bake shit, but you could cook. You know, you're a nigga. You know how to do it up good. You know what I'm saying? You can act like you're in the woods. I'm going to get you a nice little, uh, May said they all snakes. Oh, oh, Gene's a snake for sure. He's a big time snake. Anybody out here that's trusting that motherfucker, you better stop right now. Do not tell that nigga your business. I'm telling you, that nigga, you ever seen the, the Mad Magazine, Spy versus Spy? That nigga's the black spy and the white spy. That nigga's grimy. He's fucking grimy. Fucking basement, bottom, motherfucking selling plates ass nigga. They could talk to all that shit about me. I wasn't a producer at Rockefeller. That's why. Yo, did he? Yo, did he? Jeans broke, bro. That's why he out here telling these stories, He's telling these lies they, to make money off your name. He's broke. He's fucking broke. Don't do no interviews. You're not broke? Don't do no interviews. Don't do no interviews for three months. You're not broke? Don't do no paid interviews for three months. You can do interviews. Don't mention Diddy. Don't mention Diddy. Don't mention no niggas in the industry. 
Nigga, you the new fucking superhead, nigga. Now you dropping another book telling more niggas business. You superhead, nigga. A big superhead, nigga. Superhead crybaby. The, bo- the crybaby of superheads. I just seen a nigga on this other man show. <laughs> I lost that kid. <laughs> I lost that kid. That nigga's fronting. He fronting. He just a sister that had big ass Teddy Ruxpin ass beer. You a big beer. I die. I ain't fucking crying like you Chewbacca. <laughs> Gene Baca. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dry snitching ass nigga. You's a dry snitching ass nigga. You and Reggie's about to do it. That's why y'all niggas was friends. Well, how is you on the phone with Reggie? Explain that shit to me. How are you and Reggie on the phone cool? Because y'all both the same fucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? He the West Coast version. You the motherfucking East Coast. So take your ass back to fucking to the Midwest, nigga. You fucking dry snitching ass nigga out here telling niggas business for money because you fucking broke and got a gambling problem. You fucking degenerate. You're fucking degenerate. You degenerate. Uh, Joe Pesci's voice. You fucking degenerate. You fucking de- you degenerate. <laughs> You was talking shit about me living in an apartment and you live in the basement, Freddy Krueger. Are you fucking, you nigga, you need some ceiling space, nigga. That nigga, yo, come in, (laughs) y'all. The way you got that, you be walking like this. You be thinking you in the house and shit. You know, banged your fucking head so many times and shit. That nigga is the fucking worst type of nigga, bro. Puff gave you, you gave you all that money, nigga. Took you all around the world, had you with all these celebrities, and you out here shitting on him, lying, talking about because he didn't give you 40 grand to give D Ferg for some cocaine. Nigga, stop it. You out here saying this shit because you fucking broke. The, the last big night that made every fucking nickel it can, it can and your degenerate ass, fucking gambling ass, broke ass, basement living ass, nigga ass, sitting out here telling puff business, and you lying. I know you lying. With all them fucking lies you made up about me, I know you lying on puff. I know you lying, nigga. And that's why I ain't even no, probably no use to sue, to sue your ass. Because you just sitting up here lying for a fucking check. You fucking degenerate ass, gambling ass nigga living in a fucking basement, candy man. You's a fucking candy man, nigga. This nigga got the motherfucking nerve to be out here calling niggas broke. And that nigga's cracked. He's cracked. You just seen him do the end. I ain't even promoting your interviews, matter of fact. No. Now you got niggas paying you. I know how much homeboy just paid you too. Why you got to charge niggas? Because you cracked, nigga. Nigga, you ain't pimping the mailbox. Nigga, you sitting around waiting for the mailbox like a fucking crackhead for the first and the 15th, nigga, to get your motherfucking crack. And your homegirl be talking about you, too. Oh, yeah. Your homegirl be talking about you, too. How she got to look out for you when you ain't got it and hit you off with some bud. Yeah, nigga. Your homegirl talking bad about you, too. (laughs) 
<laughs> getting butter on credit. <laughs> no shorts, homeboy. Sorry, forget it. No shorts, homeboy. C -c -c crack, c -c 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 crack down. Yeah, man. This nigga had the nerve to talk about me. And I ain't even go and do no research. You know what I'm saying? But he out here lying so bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga like, yo, choke, man. You know what? Let me not even do that because then he going to know what nigga told me. I ain't going to even do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do You know, that nigga, he go lie about this nigga next. Oh, that, no, nah, that nigga just said that because cause his baby mother, you know, she liked me. Yeah, all right, nigga. Okay, nigga. You out here living in the basement, Freddie. Okay, Freddie. One, two, Uncle Gene's coming for you. Three, four, selling plates at the door. <laughs> Five, six, get our visit, get our original text mix. <laughs> Seven, they can't stand up straight. <laughs> Come in, y'all. <laughs> you know how I go outside in the morning and do my walk? That nigga go outside to get some neck space and <laughs> shit. That nigga gotta go outside and stretch like. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga neck be killing him. Yes, shit. That nigga he, <laughs> he pick up women on or 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 on a <laughs> that nigga date women. <laughs> I think it date women according to height. <laughs> you mean a chick six five? She, she's like, you know, chick six five with heels. She like, yo, big nigga like this. Yeah, I could date him. You know what I'm saying? I take my heels off. He ain't gonna be that much taller than me. I ain't gonna be taller than him. This shit. <laughs> Nigga Gene, like, nah, baby, I can't take you to the crib, man. You know what I mean? You know, girls like you, man, you know, I have a problem at my house. What's wrong, baby? Nah, you know, my ceilings is only 5'5", five, five, though. Huh? My ceilings are only 5'5". Five, five. Well, how do you live in there? You see this hunch in my back? That's why they call me the hunchback of Notre Dame. You know what I mean? I don't want you walking in the crib like this. <laughs> yeah, man. G motherfucking squeal. Nigga out here squealing for a dollar. Ain't that a bitch? That nigga's dead cracked, y'all. He's a fucking degenerate gambling ass nigga that ain't got no fucking money, living in the motherfucking basement, talking shit like he Big Willie, sharing the motherfucking kitchen, nigga. Nigga mad at motherfuckers. Yo, who, who drunk my juice? Nigga... They, he, he, they got to put their names on their fucking food in the refrigerator. This nigga sharing the refrigerator. Out here talking shit, sharing the fucking refrigerator. Yo, somebody stole my juice. 
Yo, who the fuck ate my cupcake? <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, chill. Chill. Let's talk about the other liar. Let's go over to the West Coast. East Coast. West Coast. East Coast. West Coast. You know what I'm saying? So we got Gene Wright on the East Coast. Let's now let's go talk about uh let's go talk about uh Reggie Dill on the West Coast. Right? Shout out to Reggie Dill. You know what I mean? So now that we saw Suge Knight's collect call. Let's address some of these lies. Here we go. All right, hold on one second here. Let me handle the, the legal business here. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, common news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is used permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing on profit, education, or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. And, uh, I'm sure Dave Mays ain't gonna have a problem with me using this right now under fair use. <laughs> now let's get into this. This is episode 15 of Suge Knight's Collect Calls, where uh Suge dressed a few people like Marv James and You never worked at my club. You hung outside getting $50 to get somebody to the front of the line. That's how you hustle. We wouldn't know. I'm inside or I'm not there yet. But you said TPD drives it to my club in the Southside Crips. And you tell, you tell everybody Southside Crips just left here, left the club. First of all, who would you tell? No one. Second of all, if you say that it's got to be, uh, Orlando Anderson has got beat up, why you didn't say that? Why you didn't do that? But once again, you knew all this because you said that your baby mama best friend Paula and your baby mama, you live in the South Side Crip neighborhood with your baby mama, your daughter from over there. But she want to go on these shows and lie and keep changing your story. Now, since you knew they was putting money on Pac head or my head or anybody else, but you never told no one. Now, Reg, I've been knowing you and your whole family, your sisters, 
your relatives, your father. Your uncle had the same force as me. Your uncle was a police child. I had the convertible, a turbo, sliding those ports, the rag. Your um, uncle had the hard top. His one turbo, but it was the same force. And he was a cop. Your whole family was cops or probation officers. Nothing wrong with that. And I don't have nothing against none of you people. I'm not going to bring up who stole them or who lied on me. Don't care. Because it's not about trying to put you down. But at the same time, you never came to the hospital. And if you did, you didn't come talk to me. I damn sure didn't tell you, oh, side side crips that shot us. Hey, it's Dave Mays from Collect Call. Paul, that I believe you told someone uh, right after the shooting, not long after the shooting. How did you know so quickly that the shooting had even taken place? Baby, I didn't know until I went to the hospital and we sitting around, everybody crying, and then and, and I went, went in the emergency room and talked to shields and stuff. Why would you say that? Why would you say that, Wedgie? Cause you a liar like your man, Gene Wright. Why would you say that, Reggie Dill? You out here lying like Gene Wright. <laughs> liar, liar. These two niggas is some lying ass niggas. What the hell just happened? You told us you knew Southside did it. Because you went to the hospital and you went in the hospital in the emergency room and people was crying and stuff. And you went in there and talked to Shug and Shug told you, you was a liar, brother. Now, what reason would you have to lie? But... Keep lying, brother. Let me show you something else. Let me show you how you how you lie so much, right? Now I'm gonna show y'all some. Now look at this, y'all. These are the comments on his bomb first page, right? Somebody said, say Reg, since you like to rebut, since you like rebuttals, shout out to Smokey5100 too. Shout, uh, say Reg, since you like rebuttals, can you explain when exactly, when exactly your South Side was responsible for Pac shooting and who told you? Never said from Shug. I said from people hanging around the waiting room crying. What did he just say, y'all? Right? He says, Smokey 5100 says, Reggie, I appreciate you responding, Reg, but... Who exactly was the first person to tell you Southside was responsible? Did anyone report to your, right? And then look at Reggie's response. I don't remember who, but a lot of people was talking in the waiting room area. Was I right or not though? No, you was right. You wasn't right. You 100% wrong. Let's play it back. What did he say, y'all? 
long after the shooting? How did you know so quickly that the shooting had even taken place? Baby, I didn't know until I went to the hospital and we sitting around, everybody crying. And then and, and I went, went in the emergency room and talked to shit and stuff. Wow. What you say? Paul, that I believe you told someone uh, right after the shooting, not long after the shooting. How did you know so quickly that the shooting had even taken place? Baby, I didn't know until I went to the hospital and we sitting around, everybody crying. And then and, and I went, went in the emergency room and talked to shit and stuff. Why would you say that? Now, why would you say that? You know you fucked up, right? <laughs> You know you fucked up, right? <laughs> oh boy. You know you done fucked up, right? But all that is that Lando Anderson was suing Tupac for beating his ass. So all these lies and stuff, it's bush. Number one, number two, Big Red said that on the interview, they said. The crazy thing about all that is that Lando Anderson was suing So all these lies and stuff, it's bush. Number one. Number two, my sister, best friend, is a woman named Sheila, who's married to Danny Sneed. Danny Sneed was a top ranked guy in the Compton PD and the Shares. We were doing murder was a case a premiere. I hired Danny Sneed to do the security and all that type of stuff. After he was doing it, there was a lot of negative things going on for his, the company's name. He felt it would be in his best interest not to keep moving forward. Now, Reggie Jr. got into some shit. Big Reg wanted me to hire him. He said, give him a job, don't anything, right? So I said, well, he can't work for me directly at none of these guys. So I helped Reggie Jr. to set up right way security. I laid the thing to help him out. And all this stuff about Reg said, he told me that the homies, a couple of homies wanted to do something to me, kidnap me and whatever, right? Well, did he report that to his superiors. So let's not paint a picture that's not true. But it's still a respect level. I get it. You guys get paid to do those interviews. But there's so much other things you can talk about forced corruption in the city or the, or the PD or, you know, sheriffs. I never complained about the sheriffs use my luxury box in a staple center. I was in prison. They went every, damn near every game without my knowledge or my permission to see Kobe Bryant and Shaq. All the expensive champagne, wine, steak, dessert trays, all on my tab. I got arrested one time with the Chino. Y'all can go over to break beat and watch that, right? But the point here is, these niggas, liar and liar, these niggas made up that Orlando Anderson story, y'all, about uh, Pac, uh, I mean, should pay Orlando Anderson to come testify on, uh, for him so he didn't get violated. Should got violated for leaving the, the country. I mean, for leaving, yeah, leaving the country, going over to the Bahamas. And that's why he got violated. Not for fucking Orlando Anderson. That shit is a lie. That's part of these niggas lie for they fucking alibi to make you think that Tupac jumped on Orlando Anderson because of his chain. That shit is a lie. The whole fucking chain story is a fucking lie. All this shit was about motherfucking 
Niggas was trying to get motherfucking Pac and Shug the fuck up out of here so they can inherit it, inherit their fucking business and their money. Go watch the episode, because I don't want to play the whole thing here. But go watch the episode, episode 15, called Simon Says. Reggie told us he didn't know Kevin Gaines, didn't he? He called Sharita, yo, Kevin Gaines, you paid him out of so-and-so. They saying they got a check. Da, 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 da. I thought you didn't know who Kevin Gaines was. I thought you didn't know none of them rampart niggas. Kevin Gaines, uh, Rafael Perez, David Mack. And you had a meeting allegedly with David Mack and, and Kevin Gaines because he didn't block off Puff. Shit is all coming out, buddy. Y'all hear that? That's the shackles. That's the shackles. They coming for you, Reggie. You told on yourself. Like, like Shook said, you stupid uh, mother effers. Y'all told on yourself. Y'all done put the rope around your own goddamn neck. Same thing like uh, Gene Squill. Saying that he saw all this shit just to get a check. He enough motherfucker putting the rope around his own goddamn neck. So did he? Your man's broke. That's why he out here telling these lies about you. Send your send your team out this finance and show it. And then you can prove that the niggas broke. That's why you're out here telling these fucking lies and all these damn stories because niggas is paying for it. That's why he ain't doing CNN and none of them other shits because he can't get a check out the motherfuckers. they like, we ain't paying your big crybaby ass shit. Yeah. He ain't gonna do your interview. Yeah. Joke, no joke. That nigga mother's a dope thing. Yeah. Joke is over there. Yeah. Fucking big crybaby. I never seen a bigger crybaby than your ass, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I was waiting till I seen you. I was waiting till I seen you. You thought I forgot about that? I ain't forget. I was just pretending to be your friend. And when I seen you, yeah, it was going to be on. You think I forgot you post me crying? Yeah. Nigga, set up a celebrity boxing match. Tomorrow, nigga. Tomorrow. We could do it. You my friend, nigga. Even if you big and you beat me up, I will still hug you afterwards. But the fact that you sit there and said you talked to me for a whole year and you was really waiting to meet me and beat me up, nigga. Set up the boxing right match tomorrow, nigga. No matter where. We could fight on the undercard, the motherfucker Stevie J and 50 Cent. Stevie and 50, y'all going to do that fight? Put me and Gene on that motherfucker undercard. Watch me beat the shit out of his big ass. <laughs> Nigga think cause he big he could beat me. Fuck out of here, nigga. The worst part about this whole shit is I, I, I genuinely like Gene. Cause he's like a big teddy bear, like Teddy Ruxpin. But that nigga's a grimy piece of shit. I got fooled. I thought he was a real one. That nigga ain't no real one. He's a fucking cloud chaser running around New York. Trying to ring, hang around celebrities. K Slay, Chaz, K Slay, Chaz. Neither one of them niggas will approve of what the fuck he doing right now. Especially Chaz. Shout out Prince. Black hand graph. Prince, that's my nigga. Ask Prince about me, nigga. 
You keep throwing Prince name and Chad's name around. Ask Prince when he approve for approve for that bitch nigga shit you doing out here to Diddy. Lying to get a check, nigga, because you broke. That motherfucking mailbox, pimping that mailbox ain't shit. That shit is like food stamps, nigga. Fucking 30 grand up top a year? And you got kids? Nigga, please, nigga. Your ass out here. No wonder your ass, every time I talk to you, you talking about, yo, my number, my number, I missed my number. My nigga, this nigga's a fucking lotto junkie. Every time I talk to that nigga, my number came out. Yo, so-and-so said something. Man, I wouldn't have played that number. You tell this nigga, you say some shit to this nigga and some numbers involved, that nigga, he thinking you, he, he's a junkie. He's a fucking degenerate g- gambler. Every time I talk to the nigga, he talking about the fucking lottery. Yo, what you doing today, Joe? I don't know, man. I think I'm... I'm going to go to the gym about 11.30. 11.30. I'm going to play that today. You know what I'm saying? That's a sign. 11.30. You, you working out 11.30. I'm going to play that today. This thing is a degenerate. Fuck out of here. Broke. You was out here fronting. You out here fronting, nigga. You broke. You out here front like you got all this money, nigga. That's why you out here doing all these fucking interviews, telling niggas business. Because you can't get a check doing nothing else, nigga. Except for working at the pool. Sitting by the fucking bathroom, smelling like piss. <laughs> hey, you can't get in there. Hey, 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 no running. No running. Tell me I'm lying. That you ain't, you ain't, I've I never been on the phone with you, and you ain't say to kids, hey, you can't get into the pool until you take a shower, or you ain't stay, you ain't over there pulling your gun on niggas, like, yo, stop running. <laughs> that part's a joke. <laughs> but you ain't telling niggas stop running, and they got to take a, a, take a shower to get in the water? You ain't doing that right now? Oh, okay. Super cop. Now you motherfucking sitting there at the fucking pool boy. <laughs> pool boy. Big crying ass pool boy. You got to take a shower and you want to get in a pool. You can't get in the shower. Fuck out of here, nigga. Cry, baby. You know how I should start to show off with you don't have to cry, cry, cry. <laughs> if you are Jean Dillon now, and you let them have, tell on daddy so you can cry, 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 cry. <laughs> Use a crying motherfucker too big to be crying. Genie, dry your eyes, 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 eyes. <laughs> that nigga is a fucking crybaby. Let us know when you're having a next, a next um, basement sale. All right? We there. I'm there, bro. Next basement sale you have, I'm there, Crazy Eddie. I, I don't know what's so more funny. This nigga, Reggie Lyon, completely busted. Watch how Reggie come back. And try to spin this shit in all these lives. And then he then he gonna be just like fucking crybaby Dale. Oh, I'm telling, I'm telling Suge business. I'm gonna tell this about Suge. I'm gonna tell that about Suge. I'm gonna tell this about Choke. I'm gonna tell that about Choke. Yeah, Choke snitch, Choke mother's dope thing, Choke me fuck. Da, 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 da. Dumb niggas is some fucking crying ass cops. Fucking criminals with badges. Both of them niggas. 
Yeah, I was in the same game. Them niggas was drug dealers. The fuck are you talking about? You was in the same game. Oh, you was a drug dealer with a badge? Okay, Reggie. Reggie Dale. Okay, Reggie Dale. Them niggas, yeah, I was in the same game. Then I got down and started slicking the family. Them niggas was drug dealers. So you hung around a bunch of drug dealers with a badge. You sound like Reggie motherfucking Dale. All right, Gene Wright. Them niggas is the same fucking nigga. Wasn't famous back in the day and getting famous off of fucking telling niggas business that they wasn't even there for. And the shit that they was there for, they didn't tell. They didn't do, do their cop duties. They didn't go make any police reports. They didn't make a police report for Kim, Misa, nobody. What about the girls? He Remember the, the Mike Tyson story he was talking about? It was so fucking funny about the girls. And he brought them to Mike Tyson's house. That's sex trafficking, right? And Mike Tyson was trying to fuck. Y'all don't remember that? And it was so fucking funny to this nigga. Isn't that sex trafficking? And he talking about Puff. Y'all don't remember that Mike Tyson story? And he thought it was funny? Thank you. Sade Tay remembers that story. That was sex trafficking, right? Did y'all catch the song she opened up with? I said, yeah, I, I fucking damn sure. Of course. They smile in your face. All the while they want to take your place. Backstabbers. Sing it, y'all. Backstabbers. They smile in your face. All the while they want to take your place. Backstabbers. Say it, y'all. <laughs> these motherfuckers and sit there and, and tell your goddamn business for a check niggas is broke that's why they out here telling these motherfucking stories because they ain't got no fucking talent broke ass nigga saying talking all that shit yeah i got this level and this level and this level yeah i'm in this level right now but I got this level, and I got this level. Yeah, you can't go up here. You can't go up here. You get evicted. And if you go up here, your ass definitely getting evicted. Stay your ass down here in the kitchen, nigga, and downstairs in the basement. Okay? You hating ass nigga, try to hate on me. Because you out here broke trying to fucking get Diddy locked up. For some fucking money. That's why you begging the motherfucking police to come talk to you, this, that, and the other. You trying to get a CI check, nigga. Y'all better, man, know that a lot of shit that this nigga saying about Diddy is a motherfucking lie. And I ain't here to be the Diddy saver. And I, I'm just telling y'all from experience, him lying on me. That nigga's not a stand-up motherfucker. He's lying and he's broke and his motherfucking basement stink. The shit is hoard. He's a fucking hoarder. You're a hoarder. All that shit in the basement. How you got a whole house with all that shit in the basement, nigga? How you got a whole house with all that shit in the basement? Six five with a five foot five, five foot five ceiling. Fuck out of here. Talking shit about me. Nigga, you got some fucking nerve. Broke ass nigga. Go lie about Puff some more and get some money, nigga. Go lie and get some more fucking money out of art and the rest of these niggas paying you all that fucking money for your fucking lies. Chip. Hate on, nigga. nigga. Hustle, Hate man. on. You know what it is. It's choke, no joke about Kim and Heath. Left my boo and my dudes when I saw the heat. 
Was gone in 30 seconds, more like 23 Took flight like Mike, number 23 Before the indictment came I split like Jaded didn't get wet like Kane Got out the game Went from the tunnel, now movie making So it ain't no confusion why you do be hating Oh yeah Cry baby My man had to come through and make sure it went through. He ain't live in the basement, y'all. Yeah, he ain't live in the basement, y'all. Yo. I ain't, ain't no joke to make sense. <laughs> yeah, now. He ain't live in the basement, you already y'all. know. <laughs> Let's go. Choke chilling, got away from them billing. Ain't shit really changed though, I'm still that villain. I'm making money with rhyme, fuck black on black crime. Beef and money don't mix, like Muslims and swine. I'm talking milk, penicillin, y'all be illin'. Y'all be thinking y'all killers, with your school fits grillin'. Kick that bullshit to me, y'all be wet though like Bruce Lee and Brandon and Hearst on the highway to heaven. Man, you making mad threats and stuck in one section. I'm OBP like Naughty. Make a connection Talking under your breath Get you something you don't need Two fully loaded max Filled up with heat Nigga, you sweeter than 30 days for a body Pop shit to these niggas See me walk by me But I ain't looking for no beef I don't eat bologna But I bring a whole cow If you run up on me Shiesty Try me and hype me To peel your wig back Like 10 cent icy Bring it, stop bluffing, I got you threats, they mean nothing I respond like Bond, I come through, I'm bombing Playing bodegas, flipping Montega You tanning the Jacks, I tan in Jamaica Faker, wouldn't bust if he raped ya Your chick got blazed up, hit it like Jada Why you blew up a pager, had a brief like Vader Your star at war with the lightsaber, I'm here to lyrically tear you red, nigga, you a spear. I jack you up, now you out of here. Throw me on the 600. Now I fuck your nigga humming. Blowing down 8th Ave with a bad bitch blunted. I take it there. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it with no joke. Who you thought it be? Represent the NYYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Have y'all niggas feeling it like Jay Z? Uh, no joke, who you thought it be? Represent the NYYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Bronze King like the L O R D F I N E double S C. And that bullshit y'all do, y'all niggas don't stress me. Oh yeah, and you already know, eating war what it is. Uh. Choke, no joke. I ain't no joke. The mixtape. <laughs>